right, so we're gonna do a little embossing on this one. All right, so these are the pieces that you will have, okay. You will also um, have a crumb cake piece. Okay, we're gonna do a little embossing and then punching on that one. But here's your card base, so I'll just fold that. There we go, give that a nice crease. And we're going to adhere this to, so the cherry cobbler gets attached to the Knight of Navy. Okay, then this whole thing is going to go up on dimensionals. So, all right, so we'll have those. Then there we go. Mm, I think we want it this way. Okay. Then we get to stamp our little snowman from Forgot the name. Snow much fun, I think, or something like that. Snowman season. I don't know. Anyway, that goes in here like this. Okay. Now I would use a couple of markers and do some accents. Okay, let's give him. All right, let's give him his carrot nose. And I don't happen to have a cherry cobbler marker out, but I did have pool party, and I think I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to have some little accents anyway but you can make it match. If you have Knight of Navy or Cherry Cobbler, you could make it match. I think this will contrast nicely. Okay. So these are just the regular Stampin' Right markers from Stampin' Up, not the blends. Okay. All right, and he might need a little bit of Winka Stella. All right, so you can choose what you, you know, maybe you do the parts that are still white on the hat. Maybe you do his body. Maybe you do the coal, because coal is sparkly. Maybe you do the whole thing. <laughs> it's up to you, whatever you like best. You could do the whole thing, you know? Make the whole snowman sparkly. Who knows? And you could even add a little bit of sparkle to the tree as though some snow got on there. Okay. Anyway, your choice. Have fun. And enjoy that. Okay, so then he is going to go over here like this. All right, just nice and flat. like this. Then up in this corner is going to go our circle with the greeting. Okay. Now that is going to require a little bit of embossing which is going to get a little bit loud so sorry about that. So I use a little bit of it's just um, cardboard wrapped in aluminum foil because it helps heat from the bottom as well as the top. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to stamp the Let It Snow greeting on our crumb cake. I'm going to shoot for the middle like that. And I just dump my embossing powder. Oops, I forgot to use my embossing buddy. It's all right. You know what? If a little stray happens, it's not the end of the world. It could look like snow. It's all good. Okay. Anyway, I dump two or three containers into a big bin like this because it's a little easier for me to deal with. Okay. And I usually try and hold it with my bone folder so it doesn't get, oh, I might have to do this left-handed. Oh, no, maybe not. So our um, heat tool has two settings. You'll hear the difference. One, not strong enough for embossing. Two, that's where you want it, okay? And what you're gonna do is sort of chase the change. So right now it looks very grainy and as I heat, and I don't want to be waving it all around because I want to get that to start its change. And then it'll get shiny. Do you see that change? It gets shiny. And so you just go, as it changes, you just move your heat tool so that it melts and gets all shiny. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to grab, well... I'm going to grab my two inch circle punch. If you still have the circle punches, yeehaw, go ahead and use them. Otherwise, you can use the layering circles dies or something like that. You could even use a stitched circle die or something, whatever you like best around there. And put a few dimensionals on the back of this and add it to our card. Okay. With circles, I kind of like to put them in a triangle kind of shape because that seems to hold it up best. Like that. Okay. So I'll just have it go, let it snow. And I'm going to put it just so a little bit of that peeks out. Like that. Now you could... Um, sponge the edge so that you got a little bit more contrast over here, but I think it looks just fine. And how cute is he? All right, that's two.